वेलकम बैक टू चैनल कैसे होप यू आर आर डूइंग अमेजिंगली फाइन वेल टूडेज वीडियो इज डेडिकेटेड टू वन वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ओके सो कबल वीक कब कबल वीक्स बैक आई थिंक देर इज न्यूज इन विच द मिनिस्टर सेड दैट हैविंग अ डिग्री और बेसिक ग्रेजुएशन माइट बिकम मैंडेटरी फॉर सम वन टू इवन थिंक ऑफ बींग अ पायलट और इन सिंपल टर्म्स स्टार्टिंग दर फ्लाइंग ट्रेनिंग नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गॉक अबाउट वॉट could be the advantages disadvantages more advantages i would say for you and for the whole aviation uh, field i could say if this if this thing becomes actually permanent and on in black and white so with that just let's get started but if you're new around here and you're someone who loves aviation well this channel is dedicated to that myself my name is shrans i'm a commercial pilot and i talk about aviation aviation my vlogs and how to be a pilot in india Well, if you are interested in that, I would suggest consider subscribing. Nothing to lose. Well, that's it. Let's get started. So now the big question: What if having a degree becomes a mandatory thing to join CPL training? Well now let me first come to the basics of it. Now a commercial pilot license the name itself tells you it's a license okay you have a driver's license which gives you the privilege to drive a car on the road you have a flying license or a commercial pilot license which gives you the privilege to fly certain category of aircraft whichever you are endorsed to okay now most of the students who opt in uh, to become pilots they start it right after their 10 plus 2 Okay, ten plus two with physics, maths, science. If you're coming from a commerce background, you can still become a pilot, provided that you complete your ten plus two. Uh, sorry, provided that you clear your physics and maths from any recognized board, open board, anything that DDC authorizes or agrees to. Now, once you become a CPL holder, okay, once you do your flying training, you clear your papers, you get a CPL in hand. Okay, what after that? you as your basic qualification is still 10 plus 2 okay even if you are a cpl holder it's just a license for you to fly most of the commercial airline pilots they are 10 plus 2 they are not graduates okay most of them okay they have a cpl license it gives you a privilege to fly that's all that's required but what after that okay now talking about aviation as a field aviation as a field it's a very volatile field okay things can go from 0 to 100 real quick and they can fall down from 100 to 0 even quicker 2020 example of that but 2020 is very general all the every every other sector was affected but aviation was affected a lot because air travel and everything was just disrupted it was like ground zero there was nothing at all so yeah it was affected and for that reason 2021 there are not a lot of jobs that are going to come up fact okay maybe in the end of the year but again highly optimistic 2022 yes things will open up as this whole corona situation comes a little bit more under control once airlines start flying with full capacity at this point also they are flying with 80% capacity which is pretty good which is pretty good but yeah not full capacity so it will take time for jobs to pop in and everything to come back on track uh, so yeah coming back to another thing that people who have just finished their cpl or who are about to in not a really good time but again as i said it will be back to normal but talking about having a degree okay now when i was doing my cpl i was doing my degree course as well i i'm a bachelor's in aviation i did my bsc aviation from mumbai university and i did it while i was doing my cpl okay and this is something that i would personally recommend all of you to do okay don't do this course if you don't if you're not uh, if you don't do bachelor's in aviation do something but do something that is related to aviation now i wouldn't suggest someone who's looking forward to be a pilot to first invest 3 to 4 years doing engineering or something which is completely different okay like it has no connection whatsoever from you being a pilot because even if you are thinking of it as a backup since the field is so volatile it is something different okay so it's not going to help you in the long run okay yes from a point of view of having a degree if that becomes mandatory of course but doing engineering in itself is a big thing okay it's tough and i agree to it okay i respect people who do engineering a lot because it's not easy to do that 
and uh, as i said again it's not related but on the other hand a course like bachelor's in aviation a bsc in aviation to talk about it it is specifically designed the whole syllabus of this course is specifically designed to suit pilots because the subjects of this course are all the same subjects that you study for cpl in fact if you go through the mumbai university's website or just google bsc aviation course or syllabus you'll see the whole syllabus in line with what you would study for cpl literally word to word i'm not even exaggerating it's word to word copy paste it okay so it's going to be easier for you you're going to study the same thing for cpl so why not just give a degree course and give 3 years of your career while you're doing cpl to it and trust me it's not really difficult as well i have done most of my colleagues my friends all of them have done in fact at this point now again the question comes that okay even if it becomes mandatory airlines at this point don't ask for degree well i tell you one thing in 2018 i had applied for a vistara vacancy in which vistara specifically had asked for cpl holders with degree after that they never came up no other airline came up but yeah in that particular vacancy it was mandatory so why how they filtered half of the people in that way because most of the cpl holders do not have a degree so they can't even apply for it so they basically filtered out most of the crowd there in there now if you are a cpl holder with degree what are the other advantages firstly from promotion point of view if you want let's say you flew you got you got you get a job in an airline you fly you you get uh, promoted to a captain captain does not require for you to have a degree you just need a atp license and the hours requirement for your airline and once you have cleared that they will promote you but what after that now if you want to go from let's say a a pilot job basically into flight operations and then work into some executive part of the company okay in that case most of these positions require you to have a degree now if you are just a cpl holder you're surely you're 10 plus 2 student okay you, you've just got 10 plus 2 now doing a degree at that point in your life is going to be something that i don't think you'll invest 3 years in right like let's say you're 35 40 years of age and now you want to go to an uh, executive job in your airline you know like a higher post or something would you really do your degree at 40 years okay doesn't sound really logical right so if you ask me this is a decision which is really good if it goes black and white also i think they should amend it in a way that a, a student a student pilot who wants to become a commercial pilot can do his degree simultaneously while he's doing a cpl training they can put a term that you cannot get a cpl before you finish your degree which is fair enough okay and which i think is completely achievable as i said i have done it myself i have i had done my cpl and my bachelor's in aviation together many flying schools in the country offer that i will put some in the description you can go and check it out and many universities including mumbai university where i did it from does that for you now i said that i personally think degrees should become uh, you know uh, mandatory why becoming a pilot is something that is not everyone's cup of tea okay now i'm not saying this to demotivate anyone but i'm just talking from a point of view of a pi- being a pilot as a career okay now pilots need to be responsible people of course there's a lot of stress that comes in with the job of course there's the glamour and the money and everything keep it aside but talking about responsibility okay now you're being a pilot at this point uh, i always speak about supply and demand okay right now okay right now okay i am an instructor so i know it myself we have so many students coming in okay even when the demand is not a lot with respect to vacancies and stuff but still people are coming in the reason that i think this is happening is because everyone is wanting to be a pilot okay now let's let's be fair over here not everyone can be a doctor not everyone could be a politician not everyone can be a scientist not everyone can go on the moon okay so i think somewhere as a pilot not everyone is meant to be a pilot everyone has their own skill set and has their own mindset some people have the mindset and the passion to be a pilot and they should go for that but just don't be a pilot just because you want to be now degree becoming mandatory will filter out most of this okay now someone who is really really passionate to be a pilot he will do that even after doing 3 years of degree i see a lot of students who come to the aviation field because they didn't get admission elsewhere because being a pilot you do not require any any specific qualification 
you come out of you finish your 10 plus 2 you don't get admission anywhere let's become a pilot well that's not how it works at least that's what i think again i'm saying this i'm not demotivating anyone but yeah it is important for you to understand what your strength is okay just because admission is easy to get don't join a flying club don't waste your own money because in the end what is going to happen is if you do not have the passion for it when you actually go and uh, give your interview or try for an airline your psychometry and everything is going to show that right to the panel okay it is something that will clearly show up and i don't think you want that to happen after investing so much money okay being a pilot is a huge amount of money i made a video on that you can go and check it out in the link above so it's a huge amount of money i don't want you to spend 3 4 years of your uh, career of your life for that matter and then not fetch a job as an airline pilot and that happens with a lot okay not a lot of guys tell you that but i'm telling you that straight on because this whole channel is about being honest to you guys so with that said i think this thing will be good so if you're someone who's actually passionate about flying and wants to do it go ahead join a course which is which gives you the cpl license and alongside helps you with getting a degree as well so that if at all anything becomes mandatory again if something is proposed it will take at least a year two or more than that for it to be on paper so don't worry right now if you're someone who's looking to join a flying training right now you can go ahead but as i said try to find a flying school which gives you both the degree course and the cpl license and the flying training together okay that's my personal opinion if you have any more doubts you can surely shoot me up on my instagram i try to reply to most of you please ask your doubts which are valid okay and i'll help you out with that okay also if you're someone who's looking for flying training currently we are starting new batches at maverick aviation where i'll be instructing you as well along with my crew and other instructors and we'll help you and guide you in the best way to be the best commercial pilot that you want to so with that said let's end the video here Take care, stay safe, and like I always say, stay golden. There's nothing that's gonna stop you. Bye bye.